At this point, you probably have already seen one or maybe two videos uh, about the course that you're taking this semester. Now let's talk a little bit about how to use this thing called Proctorio. First of all, what is Proctorio? Proctorio is a virtual proctoring system that allows us to make sure that there's a level playing field uh, between all of the students as they take their exams and their quizzes. Uh, I'm sure you don't want to be uh, taking exams and quizzes with uh, some PhD student who's earning extra cash by taking a class for someone else, right? So this allows us to do a number of things. For example, to confirm the identity of the student that's taking the exam. It also records the environment, so it lets us know uh, that there aren't multiple people in a room uh, helping each other take the exam or that someone is not using um, a resource that is not allowed by the honesty guidelines for that particular exam. Uh, it, in addition, it records what you're doing on your computer. Um, for the courses that, that you're taking with me, whether it's lecture or lab, um, I set Proctorio so that you're not allowed to open up additional screens on your computer um, because some students will go to things like Google questions or something like that. So uh, we don't want you to do that and it records whatever it is that you are doing. Uh, if uh, something happens like uh, your internet uh, uh, glitches so that the exam stops, it'll uh, report that. Um, there's a recording of that, so it's not just you telling me, oh, um, my internet went out. It'll actually be recorded there. Um, Proctorio also um, has got people available so that if anything happens in, during your exam, like something isn't working right, it won't let you move ahead. Uh, there's a chat function 24 hours a day uh, and people that are very accessible that'll help you uh, fix what's going on in your exam, including if some situation has bumped you out of the exam before you were done with the exam, uh, they can let you back in, right? Uh, lockdown browser, you're not gonna be allowed to print out the exam. Uh, so uh, a number of things. Now, uh, let's just talk about the basics. In order to use Proctorio, you have to use a desktop or a laptop. Um, at this point, it is not uh, possible to use a phone to take your exams or quizzes on Proctorio, and it's not possible to use tablets right now. Um, definitely not iPads, I, I think not any tablet. Uh, so if you do not have um, a desktop or laptop that has a, a functioning video camera and a functioning microphone. If you don't have those things, uh, then you need to arrange to be able to borrow them for the exams and quizzes that you're going to take. In lab, you're taking a quiz every week. Um, it, it depends on your lab instructor, uh, but generally the quizzes are open for 24 to 48 hours. So you will be able to borrow um, a laptop or a desktop anytime within those 24 to 48 hours. Um, the lecture exams, you've got uh, your schedule on your syllabus, okay? You have to have a photo ID and no, we won't accept your gym membership, right? You have to have a photo ID uh, the Cerritos College uh, campus ID card with a photo on it, that is acceptable. A driver's license is acceptable. Um, I think you can also use um, a passport. All of those are acceptable uh, to verify your identity, identity on Proctorio. You have to use the Chrome browser. That's, that's just mandatory. And the reason is that this thing called Proctorio is what's known as an extension of the Chrome browser. So you do have to take the Chrome browser. So if you haven't downloaded Chrome onto your laptop or desktop, now's the time to get the Chrome browser. The browser is your way of getting onto the internet, right? So some people use Internet Explorer, some people use Firefox. Just for these exams, you'll have to use Chrome. To run Proctorio, I'll walk you through it. Uh, you can go to getproctorio.com and install the Chrome extension. It's really quick, it took me like 30 seconds 
to download the Chrome, to install the Chrome extension. Um, but you also can do it directly through Canvas. Your first proctorial quiz is an open book test about your course syllabus and schedule. So that is due by August 21. Get going on it. As a matter of fact, if you're looking at this before the class even starts, you can go ahead and access the course syllabus quiz through Canvas and get that done right away. If you haven't completed your proctorial course syllabus quiz um, by August 21, then you'll be dropped from the course. So, so get on it, okay? Oh yeah, you've gotta be fully clothed during your proctorial quizzes and exams because uh, you are being observed. All right, what else is important? What's really important is when you're using Proctorio and anything at all goes wrong, use the chat function on Proctorio. I'm not your IT person, and even if I wanted to be able to help, I don't have any power over Proctorio. But really, the chat function is very, very good. In previous semesters, once students had taken a Proctorio quiz or two, after that, everything was smooth sailing. So I think you'll be very happy with it. The chat function action answers questions 24 hours a day. So if you are the kind of person who wants to take things in the middle of the night when it's quiet and everyone in your household has gone to sleep, you still will have access to help through Proctorio. Uh, yeah, Proctorio knows how to fix things. I, I, don't, I can't help you with that. If your connection dies in the middle of a quiz or an exam, uh, Proctorio can let you back in. So uh, don't despair when things die, don't freak out. Uh, jump back in and talk to the people at Proctorio. Yeah, are they people? I just said they're people. Uh, they could be robots, I don't know. It's a chat function. They seem human-like. So, uh, and that leads me to this, that there is actually not a human watching you taking the exam on Proctorio. Yes, you need a video and a uh, camera and a microphone, uh, but, and yes, you are being recorded, so wear clothes, okay? But during the exam, there's not a human that's watching you. What's happening is that artificial intelligence is evaluating what's going on. Yeah, like that's, that's normal. Well, I guess better get used to it. And if you're doing anything or the artificial intelligence senses anything like an extra human or an extra voice or something like that, then they go ahead and flag those events. And it's up to me to go back and look at what was happening during those moments. Okay, so I'm the only one, not your TA, not other professors in the department. I'm the only one that can go back and look at the video of those irregular moments. And so if it, if it has flagged you as like, oh, they're looking away from the screen, screen too often, uh, then I can go back in and, uh, and evaluate that and decide whether you were violating the academic honesty policy for this course or not, okay? Uh, if I watch the flag moments of the video and I go, okay, yeah, they were using their cell phone. You're not allowed to use your cell phone, okay? Um, if, uh, if I see that that was what was happening, you'll get a zero on the quiz or the exam. And if you violate the honor code, then in the future, I don't let you use Proctorio. You have to arrange to take your quizzes by Zoom or FaceTime, okay? And then I will be watching you and... Uh, and I don't really want to do that. And I don't think you want me doing that either. Because then if you start looking down, I'll go, hey, what are you looking at? Could you move your camera or something like that? Don't do that, okay? So if you are suspected of violating the honor code, <clears throat> um, I won't give you, a, if I'm just suspecting it, I won't give you a zero on that quiz or exam. But in the future, instead of using Proctorio, You'll have to arrange it with me. And by the way, I don't do this in the middle of the night. You have to do it at a time that's convenient for me. It's really easy <clears throat> to get into Proctorio. So first of all, this is what a uh, your Canvas shell would look like. This is for um, one of the lectures. <clears throat> if you go in there 
and you look here on the left side, it'll say Secure Exam Proctor. If you just click on Secure Exam Proctor, then it'll look like this. And here it noticed that I was using Chrome uh, to use Canvas. So it said, yes, you've already installed Google Chrome. If you um, are using Canvas through <clears throat> Firefox, then uh, there would be an additional step. But just go ahead and use Chrome. And once you uh, use Google Chrome, then it'll take you here to install the Proctorio Chrome extension. It's not a download, it's an installation. I don't know what the difference is, but there you go. Once you go ahead to install it, then all you have to do is say add to Chrome. You use this little button right here. Once you've added it to Chrome, then this little icon, the little gray shield, will go up here into your Chrome uh, extensions. And so right there, you can see I've got the Chrome extension, the Proctorio extension on Chrome. So every time I use Chrome, then this will happen. Uh, if you'd like, um, you can install it for every quiz or exam, and you can remove it from Chrome um, as soon as you're done. So if you're the kind of person that's like, oh, I don't want that creepy Proctorio uh, sneaking on me all the time, then you can simply remove it at the end of every exam or quiz. Or if you're super smart, you'll actually just put a piece of tape over your camera. Right? Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the academic dishonesty policy for my labs and for my lecture, okay? If you are taking uh, your quizzes um, for a different lab instructor, you need to follow that lab instructor's rules, okay? So just to be completely clear, um, in my lecture exams, I allow them to be open book and open, open note, and in my labs, I allow them to be open book and open note, but you do need to follow the instructions for your lab instructor, okay? So this is just for me, <clears throat> okay? Um, your exams and uh, in AP 120 and AP 151, and if you're taking my lab, I have these things being open book and open note, but very specifically, you cannot use the electronic version of the textbook, okay? So it has to be paper sitting next to you so that if you're looking at something off to the side, I'm going to ask to see what you've got and it is better be paper, okay? You're not allowed to have any other computers, including smartphones, that you're not allowed to use those. Okay, you're also not allowed to uh, work with a friend um, or have your mom helping you while you take an exam or a quiz. So no cell phones at all, right? If you violate the exam policy, you get a zero. And in the future, you have to take your exams with me on Zoom. Um, if you are even suspected of violating the exam taking policy, You've got to work with me on Zoom. What if you have to miss an exam? You know, you've got 48 hours to take these. So if you're going to be <clears throat> at a sister's party or something like that, do we do parties anymore? Maybe by the time you take this, right? Um, just arrange to take it at another time during those 48 hours, all right? Um, and also don't try to take them close to the midnight, midnight deadline. If you tell me that, oh, the deadline was at midnight and so I logged in at 11 o'clock at night so I could take it and things didn't work, I'm going to say I'm sorry. That's not good planning, okay? You've got a big window of opportunity, so arrange to take them early. Uh, <clears throat> If you're not going to be available at all and you know during those 48 hours, then you should arrange with me to take it early. If you have to take a makeup exam, 
you've got to inform me that something happened by email in person on or before the deadline for the exam. Makeup exams are not the same multiple choice exam that everyone else is taking though. Uh, for 151, you'll have to write essays and you'll have to be doing it with me on Zoom. Uh, <clears throat> for AP 120, there'll be short answer and choose all that apply. Um, they're harder, so really just take the regular exams. All righty, that's it. Proctorio, really, it's, it's not a big thing.